The chairman of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Sheikh Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the chairwoman of the board of directors of the National Bank of Bahrain, Halaya team, opened the NBB Multiple Sclerosis Center project in Amhara Governorate in the presence of the Minister of Health, Dr. Jalila Hassan, the chairman of the board of trustees of government hospitals, members of the board of directors of the NBB, the bank's executive management, and a number of officials and representatives of relevant authorities. The SCA chairman noted that the center is a result of the community partnership between the public and private sectors and reflects the belief of national companies and their community responsibility towards the development of society. He held the support of NBB to finance the establishment of the center and equip it according to the best medical and engineering standards. This is Bahrain held Praying for Humanity event in the presence of the Minister of Labor, Jamil Ahmedan, officials and various communities. Ahmedan prays the support of His Majesty the King for such events that aim to consolidate the values of tolerance, peace and coexistence, which is what Bahrain has always been known for. He added that holding this event in the blessed month reflects the peaceful coexistence and mutual respect that is characterized by Bahrain thanks to the comprehensive development project of His Majesty the King. The chairwoman of This is Bahrain, Betsy Matheson, expressed thanks and appreciation to Bahrain, the government and its people for always ensuring an environment of respect and tolerance for all religions. I'd like to thank This Is Bahrain for inviting me along this evening. It's been wonderful to see all the communities here gathered, celebrating Ramadan, celebrating Easter, celebrating just being together as they are every day here in Bahrain under the wise uh, vision and leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, who has made this one of the most accepting, welcoming places in this region, and if not in the world. And I feel a strong parallel with the UK there because uh, I've just been in London where Faiths of all kinds were gathered around Ramadan, around Easter, uh, worshipping, being together. And it feels just the same here. And it's a very, very special uh, society and um, environment that's been created here in Bahrain. This is Bahrain holding an event every year during Ramadan. And this year our theme is Peace for Humankind. His Majesty is such a powerful bright light in this world of darkness for religious freedom and peaceful coexistence. And we are proud that this is Bahrain and all of our communities have come together tonight thanks to His Majesty's patronage. Um, it's very important also that we mention the support of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Um, he does so much for all of the communities here. His government worked very hard and as an NGO um, we are very, very grateful for the support. Bahrain is very special place. It is probably the most cosmopolitan community in the world, whereby people from about 70 or 80 different nations who live here in peace and tolerance are able to feel part of the fabric of society due to our gracious hosts, led by, of course, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isra Khalifa. Bahrain is a place like no other. I'm so pleased that I've been able to live here, bring up my family in such uh, an atmosphere of trust, peace and happiness. In the presence of the Minister of Information, Dr. Ramzan bin Abdullah Naimi, the traditional competition program Saria hosted the UAE Ambassador to Bahrain, Fahd Mohammed Salim bin Kurdus Al Amri, at the Heritage Village in Ras Hayyan. The Minister commended the support of His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirming that the program presents its message to consolidate the values of citizenship and loyalty to Bahrain and its leadership, and pride in the authentic popular heritage of the Kingdom and the Arabian Gulf. The ambassador held the program, which distinguished itself in presenting Gulf popular heritage in a sophisticated manner, and affirmed that the support of His Highness Sheikh Nasser of the program contributed to its high professionalism. The chairman of the program's committee, Khalid Al Ajman, affirmed the depth of the fraternal relations among Gulf countries, adding that His Highness Sheikh Nasser's keenness to highlight them. He also commended the visit of the UAE ambassador and the Omani ambassador, Faisal bin Harab Al Basaidi, the director of events and communications at the Abu Dhabi Heritage Authority, Abdullah Al Kbesi expressed pride in the participating in the program, noting that in order to document Emirati heritage, the authority participated in presenting the various distinct elements of Emirati heritage. The Saria program has achieved an unprecedented high number of views in Bahrain, the Gulf and the Arab world due to its accurate information that enhances the historical and popular heritage for viewers to learn closely about the rich Gulf popular heritage.
The National Institution for Human Rights welcomed the edict of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on granting the NIHR observer status in a number of national committees based on the request of the Institute. The NIHR sees that this step will develop the practices and procedures of the institution to implement its powers in accordance with the law of its establishment. It expressed appreciation to the approval of the government on expanding the scope of NIHR's work. The President of the NIHR, Engineer Ali Ladrazi, commended the constructive cooperation of the executive authority to support the work of the institution, noting that it will strengthen implementing the NIHR's mandate to protect human rights and strengthen its relations with government institutions and stakeholders. He noted the executive authority's keenness to strengthen its effective policies in promoting and protecting human rights to consolidate peace, stability, security, and sustainable development. The Kingdom of Bahrain joins the world in marking the World Autism Awareness Day on the 2nd of April in order to enhance their community participation. More on this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain is distinguished by its pioneering experience in the field of integrated social policies between the government and private sectors and in achieving the principles of justice, equality and equal opportunities amongst all citizens in general and the people with special needs in particular. On the anniversary of World Autism Awareness Day, the Ministry of Social Development highlights the importance of continuing to provide various means of support to people with autism and enhancing their integration into society. The ministry covers the annual cost of rehabilitating the beneficiaries of these centers, where the ministry has worked on licensing procedures for the purpose of rehabilitating people with autism, in addition to dispersing a monthly allocation of 200 Bahraini dinars. A comprehensive disability complex was also established in Ali area, which aims to provide aspects of care and rehabilitation for people with social needs. Working to build a Bahraini society based on the principles of integration and inclusivity are in line with the approach of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in order to achieve the principles of justice, equality and equal opportunities.